Hi everyone, today we're going to go over section 7.4 cross product. But before we do an example of cross product, first we have to review determinants. So let's do a problem of this matrix, uh, which is 2 by 2 matrix, and where we have to find the determinant of this. So to find the determinant of this, we'll have to do like 4 times negative 3, like arrow goes in this direction. So we have to do negative 4 times 3. And when you go in this direction, you have to put a negative. So a negative and then 5 times negative 2. So now let's do it. So 4 times 3, which is negative 12. And then here negative and then 5 times negative 2, which is negative 10. And then negative, negative, it's a positive. So then 12, negative 12 plus 10, which is negative 2. So negative 2 is the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, now let's find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. For that, first we'll have to cross the first row and first column. So we cross the first column and the first row. So now what are we left with? We're left with this. Okay, so this. We're left with this, so we're going to write it in here. So 4, 6, 2, 3. And the number that is in the first column goes in here. And for the next one, we'll have to put negative. And uh, here, make sure you don't forget this negative. This is very important. Many people forget this and end up getting a wrong answer. So if you're someone who forget this every time, so you can write it in here on top. So just to make sure you don't forget. So you write the positive, negative positive so you know the first one it's positive and the second one it's positive and the third one it's positive okay now let's do the second one okay so for the second one we'll have to cross the second column and the first row Okay, now what are we left with? So, we are left with this. Now, let's write it. 2, 6, negative 1, 3. And the first number that is in the first row goes in here. Now, the third one. So, it's positive like it says on the top. So it's, it's positive 4, because on top it's positive, so positive 4. And then, now let's cross out the rows and columns. Okay. Now, now we'll have to cross the rows and columns. Okay, so we're going to cross the third row. And the first column oh sorry the third row and first column okay so we're left with this now let's just write it so two four negative one two now let's do it on another page I just wrote that neatly now th this you guys see this is a 2 by 2 determinant so we'll have to um, solve this first so how do we do that i told you guys so go like this so 4 times 3 so 4 times 3 and yeah don't forget it's multiplying by it is multiplying by 8 as well now 8 times 4 times 3 and then a negative when we when we go in the other direction so no negative times 2 times 6 and now let's move on to the next one so now here negative 5 times 2 times 3 
times 3 and a negative when we go in the opposite direction. So negative, negative times negative 1 times 6. And now we have moving on to the last one here. So we have 4 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 minus negative 1 times 4. Now solving all that. All this gives 12 minus 12, sorry, 8. Okay, this gives 12 minus 12, 4, zero, 4 times 3, 12, 6 to 12. Now, negative 5, 6 plus 6 plus, I guess 2 times 3 is 6. And negative, negative is positive, And then 6 times 1 is 6. Now, 2 times 2 is, here we already have 4 here. Now, 2 times 2 is 4, put here, and negative, negative is a positive, so positive, and 4. Now, 12 minus 12 is 0, and 0 times 8 is 0, so this thing is really 0. Now 6 plus 6 is 12 and 12 times the negative 5 which is negative 60. Plus 4 plus 4 is 8 and 8 times 4 is 32. Now 32 negative 60 which gives negative 28. So this is how we find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Let's finally do a problem of the cross product of, of two vectors. We are given a, a vector A and a vector B, and we have to find uh, the cross product of A times B. So now let's find it. So cross product of two vectors is simply the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. So um, for that, we'll have to write these uh, these uh, um, th these vectors in terms of a matrix. And for that, we have to write I, G, K. So I, here it goes 4, negative 2, and 5. And this is my vector A in terms of a matrix. And now let's write my vector B. So I have 3. I component and what's my G component? My G component is 1 and K component is negative 1. So let's write it. So G component is 1, K component is negative 1. Now let's calculate the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix, uh, matrix yeah, like we previously did. So how do we do that? So we do like We'll first cross the first row and first column. So crossing the first row and the first column. So here we're left with negative 2, 5, 1, negative 1. And here we do not have a, a number here, but we have a i hat. So we're going to write i hat here. And then here, this negative, remember, you have to put positive negative and positive so you don't forget that the second one is negative so here now let's move on to the second one we know it's negative g hat and here we're gonna cross the second column and the first row and we are left with four five three negative one now positive k hat and 
here you have to cross the third row and the first column and we're left with 4, negative 2, 3, and 1. Now let's solve it. First solving for the 2 by 2 matrix, we have... Uh, so let's solve for that. So how do we do that? So 2 times negative 5, like this, okay? And this is... When we go above, we put a negative, so 2 times negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2, and then 1 times 5, which is negative 5, and then negative 2 hat times 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4, and then going above, we have a negative, and then 3 times 5, oops, which is 15. Now positive k hat times 4 times 3, now going in the other direction, 3 times 2, which is 6, and here negative, when we, here it's a negative when we go in there, so negative and negative 6 which is going to be a positive. Okay, so we write positive 6. So now here we have um, 2, 5. I'm um, sorry, okay, here I had negative, negative, which was a positive. So, yeah negative 2 times negative 1, which is a positive 2. So, sorry, this is positive 2. So now, it's negative 3 i hat, negative g negative 19, plus 10 k hat. Now, negative negative makes a positive, so negative 3 i hat plus 19 g hat, Plus 10 G hat is the answer. Moving on to another example where we have uh, um, the vector i and the vector j. And we have to find i cross j. So just like the, the uh, case of two vectors, we'll have to do the same thing. So i hat, g hat, k hat. And we write the vector i in terms of i, j, k. So 1, 0, 0, and j hat 0, 1, 0. Now we do the same thing. So here we have, um, we cross the first row and first column. We have 0, 0, 1, 0. And here it's positive, negative, positive, negative. Positive. So we have positive i hat, so we write positive i hat, then negative g hat, because here, here it's a negative g hat, so by the way, it's negative only for g hat for the second one, because the signs uh, alternate like positive, negative, negative, positive, like that. So now we write For j hat, we're going to cross first row, second column, and we're left with 1, 0, 0, 1, positive k hat, and we're going to cross this, and we're left with one zero zero one. Now by now, you guys should be able to solve for this two by two matrix. So I'm just gonna write the final answer, which is simply k hat, because i hat and g hat will be zero. So this is the final answer. Now let me show you guys something. So 
here we're gonna draw a circle and you have you have to write this in order like i g and k hat so how do we find i times g hat so i times g hat so you guys gonna go in the counterclockwise direction so like i times g what does it gives so it gets k so you're gonna write k hat now how do we find g times k hat so for that i'm gonna go all this counterclockwise so g times k hat what does it give i hat so i hat now k hat times i hat what does it give k hat times i hat k hat times i hat gives g hat so we have g hat over here so this is how we find it but if you guys go in the clockwise direction then like i times k hat so i times k hat so since you guys are going in the clockwise direction uh this is it is going to be negative g hat so just remember if you're going in the clockwise direction you have to put the negative so now let's write k hat times g hat k hat times g hat gives i hat Now, which is like i hat times k hat, k hat times g hat, and what is left? g hat times i hat. So, g hat times i hat gives k hat. So, here we have g hat times i hat gives negative k hat because we're going in the clockwise direction. And yeah, one more thing you guys need to know that if you cross product, uh, the one with itself, so it's gonna get zero. So like I hat times I hat gets zero, G hat times G hat gets zero, and you guys have probably guessed by now. So K hat times K hat gets zero. Yeah. So here we have another example, but let's just do this example in the next video. Bye.